good evening to one and all. This evening, again, I'm going to do a video of the Emancipation Statue, the otherwise referred to as the Buster on the boat. He's not high at all, I said Michael. As I said before, I'm down with the road here, we're leading him back. Just about to see the Light Erskine Sandy Cross Center here, which is known as the, which was the Sherborne Conference Center, which is now the American University of Medicine. The Grass University, sorry, of Medicine. At the Light Erskine Sandy Cross Center, formerly Sherborne Conference Center. So this road is back down to Bridgetown via Government Hill where the Prime Minister residence is at Illawar Court, Tuma Hill where the Prime Minister's residence is and I'm back to the President's residence at the Governor General's house at the Government House. I'm back down to Springer School, the Child F. Bones Primary School and the Springer Memorial Secondary School. I'm back down to Bridgetown. Mill Hill at the corner at the top of Hagen Hall, Mill Hill, and St. Michael. Straight ahead is the Emancipation Statue, known as the Buster around the boat. And this is Oliver Hayes Drive right here that will lead to St. Barnabas Church and St. Barnabas Heights. And this is the iMart Pharmacy and the One Haggard Hall Mall here. And this is all the side work at Haggard Hall. So this is the one I get home all with Starbucks. The Starbucks coffee shop and so on. And this is all I get all through here. So this is a new mall here that was built here, out here, about a year or two ago. That's so much. That wasn't there for so long. So walking through Haggard Hall, I will show you at the back. So Haggard Hall falls on the highway, the ABC highway. When it's up, yeah, Haggard Hall falls on the highway. It is on the ABC highway. So this is the one Haggard Hall mall here. You see the KF Shepherds and Company store. That is the only KF Shepherds store now that bears the name KF Shepherd. All the other KF Shepherds stores. First of all, you can see the um, National Culture Foundation has the outlets here. I would, um, talking about just um, the Emancipation, the Emancipation Village. So as I said before, the Buster statue is the Buster is the Emancipation statue is the Emancipation statue. So this is all things here. I would tell you dealing with Emancipation. This is Kaimot over here, which was once Julian Supermarket. Then it was Troy Mart Supermarket. Then it was more international. Now it is Sky Mall. And this is where Cargo BGI with Slam 101.1 FM, Y103.3 FM, and Sherwin Williams Associates and Lovada's Laundry is here. And Standard Appliance Store was here for many years. And the Ashley Furniture was here for a while as well. The National Culture Foundation has the Colombo Emancipation Village over here. Back to the one Haggard Hall Mall. Back to the one Haggard Hall Mall here.
so. Now heading back to the emancipation statue and this is the Aymark Pharmacy and the one I get home mall here as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get to you behind you. Sure. Okay. So I will come through behind here and head back to the emancipation statue. You know, as the buster statue or the buster around the boat. This is that Highgate Hall, St. Michael. So, this is the Buster statue here. This is the Emancipation statue. Which was carved in 18, which was carved in 1985 by local sculptor, Ghanese born Barbadian sculptor, Carl Brad Hagen. This statue was carved in 1985, around the same time that the Ghanese Tiger was being built. This statue was carved by Carl Brad Hagen in 1985. Buster is a national hero of Barbados, who led the slave rebellion in 1816 at the Bailey's plantation. This is Sky Mall here. Hagger Hall, which was one Julian supermarket, then it was Trademark supermarket, then it went as Mall International, then Sky Mall as it is today. So Buster led the slave rebellion in 1816 at the Bailey's Plantation in St. Philip where Eddie Grant has his studio now. Eddie Grant is a famous musician here in Barbados. He has his studio at Bailey's Plantation. Buster statue once again. Actually the pits buster freeing the chains off his hand symbolizing the ending of slavery. Bring the chains off his hand, symbolizing the ending of slavery. So this is all the ABC highway, which starts from the airport. The ABC uh, highway starts from the Grandly Adams Airport in Christchurch Church to the south, and we end at University of the West Indies, KFA campus, and St. Michael to the west. The ABC highway was the plan of Barbados's Second Prime Minister Tom Adams who wanted the highway to be built so that motorists can have easy access to the airport and other industrial estates across the island, more so than having to use the long haul route. So Tom Adams invented the highway in the 80s, but sadly he did not live to see the highway completed. 
Stockton, I don't like the 1985 and the Harry was completed in 1989.